good day everyone you are welcome to joe jji solutions channel we offer services in the following um, my name is peter mnj adaviruku today i want to show you how to calculate coordinates of features in a true boot table in algis when you have some list of features especially point features i want to determine their coordinates how do you do that in algis please remember to subscribe to my channel thank you so let's go to arc arc map interface so let's list in the data we want to use for this exercise click on this add data navigate to the folder where the data is in this case my data is in my exercise folder on desktop uh, i want to use this data kogi lgs and kogi towns shape file so i'll click on add i've added it to my covers now what to do is first you right click on the layer that you want to calculate the coordinates for so right click and check the properties let's check the properties and see the coordinate system of the data now you go under source this is source you come here this is the coordinate system of this data geographic coordinate system wgs 1984 so if I want to calculate in decimal degree so i'll leave it in this coordinate system if you want to calculate in meter you have to project this to your uh, projected coordinate system so having checked that that is in geographic coordinate system let's now go to the work proper which is to find the coordinate of each of these points now this next thing to do is to right click here and open the attribute table uh let's maximize the attribute table if you look at the attribute table you can see the fid the shape uh, feature type which is point the name of those points and of course the state it belongs to which is kogi state now we want to calculate the longitude and latitude so to do that add the field to calculate them so to do that come here and click on add field so let's name this longitude longitude then the type of uh field we let's choose double because we want to calculate uh, in decimal degree and then the precisions let's say 10 and the scale this scale is talking of number of decimal places let's say six we want to calculate it to six decimal places then you click on okay you can see the field has been created then create another field for latitude click on that and click on add field then this time around we are right latitude latitude then the data type we choose double and also here we choose precision to be 10 and the number of decimal places six as well then click on okay now what we want to do is to calculate the longitude and latitude such that if I come back here, let's say for example, I select this point. Look at the point I selected. So what if I want to know their coordinates? So to do that, that's what we want to do. So let's go back to our attribute table. So having created field for longitude and latitude. To calculate it, you click here, right click, and you see calculate geometry. Click on calculate geometry. Because it's not in editing mode, it will ask you this question. Just click yes. Then number one, no longitude is equivalent to x coordinates. So you choose x coordinates here. Then we want to use coordinate system of the data source. Make sure it's checked. And the coordinate system is WGS 1984. Then the unit of the calculations is decimal degree. Having done that, you click on OK. So you click yes. The, it will run. See, it has created it. Then to calculate for also latitude right click here and click on calculate geometry click yes then here it will now be y y coordinate make sure here is y because y is our latitude y x is longitude then we are still using the coordinate system of the data source and we are calculating in the unit of decimal degree click on ok and click yes so you can see it has calculated for it so now each point about we have about 339 points so each point you can now see the coordinates of each point in decimal degree so 
uh, you can now minimize this so this is how to calculate uh, how to calculate for uh, the coordinates for each point or features in Agis. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Help me grow this channel. Thank you for watching this video.